Hey everyone, I'm Adi Purdila, and in this short Tuts Plus video, you'll learn about Adobe XD. So let's begin. Adobe XD is a vector based uh, UI slash UX design tool, and with it, uh, you can design anything from smartwatch apps to fully fledged websites. Now, XD was first introduced in 2015's Adobe Max conference as Project Comet. And uh, back then, it promised a breath of fresh air for all the people who were still using Photoshop or Illustrator for UI design. Many years ago, I started uh, designing websites in uh, Photoshop, so I know all about the struggles, but XD is completely different. It was built specifically for UI and UX design, so it has features that were non-existent in Photoshop or Illustrator. Among those features, we can find the ability to create prototypes and animations, to use components, to install third-party plugins, to resize content automatically to fit different screen sizes, or to create repeat grids. And these are just a few. Uh, if you were to ask me today to name my top three favorite features in Adobe XD, they would be as follows, in no particular order. First of all, repeat grids. Uh, these are super useful. They allow you to make copies of an element and automatically arrange them in a grid. Then, using simple controls, you can easily change the vertical and horizontal spacing between these copies. Secondly, we have components and component states. A component is basically a reusable element that functions on a main and instance logic. A copy of the main is called an instance. Any changes made to the main are reflected on the instance, but uh, the instance can be changed independently from the main. Component states are basically variations of a component, and in XD, you can switch really easily between these variations in both design and prototype mode. And finally, we have document assets, which allow you to save colors and character styles and then apply them to other elements. These, along with components, are also saved in a document library that can be shared with other people. So this is a super useful feature for creating design systems, for example. Now, these are my top three picks, but for the majority of people, the prototyping feature will actually take first place, and for good reason. With it, you can create some really cool animations that can bring a design to life and allow users to interact with it. What you see here is actually part of an advanced Adobe XD course I made recently, and uh, you'll find a link to it down below. What I really love about XD is that it's free to use. Uh, it does have a paid plan for those who want full access to the collaboration features, but just the, the free app itself is more than enough for uh, most people. What's also great is the platform options. Uh, Adobe XD is available on macOS and Windows, and this is really cool because you can also save your documents in the Adobe Cloud, so you'll be able to access them from multiple devices. All in all, I think XD is a great tool, and I highly recommend it for anyone who wants to get into uh, UI or UX design. It's super fast, it's very easy to learn, it's constantly being updated with uh, new features and improvements, and in the end, let's not forget, it's made by Adobe, so we know it's a quality product. Uh, on Tuts Plus, you'll find lots of tutorials and courses on Adobe XD, so make sure to check out the links uh, down below. Now, if you want to get XD, you can get it for free at adobe.com slash product slash XD. Or if you have the Creative Cloud app installed and you have a valid subscription, uh, you can download it directly from there. And with that said, thank you very much for watching this video. I'm Adi, and until next time, take care.